All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll do a quick little test uh, just so you guys can see the eye flow. Now, remember, this is uh, the one that's on my tiny trailer. But um, yeah, let me show you around real quick. Now, I did make a little changes already. I'm gonna put two lights on there. One, um, so when you power on, boom. This, the reason why I really put these lights on here and don't mind all these things, cause this, this is my test model, of what I've been using over time, uh, is not really for the user. It's really for uh, troubleshooting if something comes up. So when you press the power um, on, you know that when this light comes on, there's power going to the receiver. The next, um, light is so that you know that there's power signal when you press on soap that there was power going um to the actuator okay now watch this you see how both of them is on right so that means there's soap flowing i'm gonna turn off the entire system when I put it back on, it's gonna automatically reset. So if you left your soap on and you turn the system off, immediately when you turn the system back on, it's gonna go automatically to just pushing water. And you want that. You really want that. And I'll tell you why. Because when you turn off your system, sorry, it's really cold out here. You turn off your system and um, you go to the, do the next house. The first thing you usually do is you water down all their, um, their foliage, right? All their flowers and stuff like that. So as soon as you turn it on, uh, if you left it on soap, when you turn the system off, it automatically, automatically goes back to just water. Okay? And I, that's what I really like about this. But yes, I, I'm going to end up putting two lights on there. Um, and it's more for if someone's in a field and they need help diagnosing something, I can diagnose it for them. Or they can diagnose it themselves with a... Uh, tutorials that I'll be putting out but let me show you how I have mine set up like I said before I have mine directly to my hose reel right there boom uh, and then I have mine in a ammo box just because I'm in the military I really wanted to put this ammo box and make it fit like this that's why I have it like this and my trailer's super small. I haven't ran across anyone with a trailer the size of mine. But um, I'm about to uh, start up the pressure washer, show you guys how it rolls, all right? So, yep, here we go. I'm gonna wash a tiny, this trailer's about to wash a tiny home. Watch this. You guys are about not to hear me for a little while, so. Um, you just stay right there. Got my remote right here. This remote is just A and B because it's for my test. It's not the on and off. Same thing.
pushing water, right? I just press the button, see so you can't hear it because I'm so close. 